It's week 18 of the NFL. And the spotlight is on the Cardinals' burner at wide receiver. On the doorstep of another milestone in a great season, approaching 1,200 yards. It's the Cardinals and the 49ers, and it's all up next. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the Arizona Cardinals and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they come in in the midst of a pretty bad stretch here. Losers are five straight. So many different reasons teams hit the losing skids, but the best way out of it, something has to happen positive early in the game. one started and we are underway from Santa Clara and no run back here so they'll bring it out to the 25 so here's the first drive now for the 49ers bringing him out is the pride of North Dakota State now in his seventh NFL season Carson Wentz I love just about everything about him love his game love his makeup love his moxie one of my favorite words this guy's a competitor gritty tough you name it he's got it but he did throw an interception in last week's game. That contributed to a loss. And despite the fact he threw three touchdown passes, he's going to be out there redoubling his efforts and trying to play better. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. And now as we get toward the home stretch here, the regular season, Charles, let's take a look at the list of key inactives for them in this one. Yeah, and after almost a full season of physical games, you know you got some guys missing during the final weeks of the season. Nature of how we play this sport. Every team, you got to be prepared to handle them. And the teams that focus on handling it, focus on guys getting ready to play, even if they're not starters, those are the ones that weather the storm. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Give him two on the play there. And it'll be a San Francisco first down. The Niners had eight and eight now on the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. A little juke, and that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now Wentz. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 38-yard line. Give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. A first down carry by Elliott. He's brought down at the 34, call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Wentz now on first down. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. 
the coverage by Javarius Ward. To throw again on second down. Wentz, short little throw to Ebron. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now Wentz on third down. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Three yards all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. The kick by Elliott is good. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points. Maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. The leading them out is the fourth-year quarterback out of Missouri. Second rounder in 2019, Drew Locke. And I think that everyone is looking forward to seeing Drew Locke take the next step in the quarterback evolutionary process. Decision-making is something that he's working on improving because he's got plenty of arm and makes excellent off-platform throws. What he's seeking now? To be consistent in all of his processes. They look to throw. It's Locke. Over the middle, complete. That's Robinson. Finding space at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Now a play fake, and here's Locke. Sliding out of the pocket. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From midfield, here's Locke. And his throw here's incomplete. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Again, they'll throw with Locke. He finds McKinnon, complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 38-yard line. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Well, they'll use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Lock now on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Lock again here on second and ten. No escape for Lock, and he'll go down. They brought him in off the corner, and he gets in to drop him for a loss of four. And Charles, part of the reason they lost last week, they didn't have a single sack when they changed that quickly. But did they ever? And it was something they talked about with us extensively. They needed to get pressure. How were they going to get to the quarterback? Obviously, they schemed themselves into a great play, didn't they? Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw it is locked. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. The 20, 10, 5, and he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with the
them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the base setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped. So let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM it always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. Eluding the pressure right. Put this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On first down, Locke. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Locke. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Block off a of play action. And that is incomplete. Jordan Berry out to punt on fourth down. A deep to return it is Marcus Jones. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The 49er offense, they're coming back out onto the field, and we're going to give you a look at the playoff picture now into the weekend in the NFC. Well, here we sit, week 17, just one more week in the regular season after this one. So if you're one of these teams trying to make a move and improve your spot or jump in from the outside, Charles, you better make that move now. And these final games are often a good barometer for all those teams fighting for position or a wild card spot. They have to be able to get the job done these last two weeks before things get even tougher when the playoffs officially begin. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And a throw there going to be incomplete. There defensively for the breakup, Traverius Ward. Nice, smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They look to get something started. They need to down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10. Block now to throw. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. That is catch number 300 for his NFL career. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. On first and ten, it's Robinson. 
And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And Charles, you, you wonder about this defense coming in. I mean, look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances, go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert and stay aware. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up. First and ten. Lock going to throw. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. From the 31. Lock. Again, he'll... And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Touchdown. got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well, and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Up the middle, here's Elliott. Travis Jones makes a tackle. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's Wins. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. On first down, Wentz. Flushed out right, and he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. On second down, Elliott. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Wentz to throw. That's complete to Tyler Johnson. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. And that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get to the watch game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play.
They'll run for it with Pollard. And he's got the first as they bring him down. Oh, 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 oh. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Wentz now on first down. He finds his man, Johnson. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Throwing again on second down. Wentz escaping the pressure right. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Wentz. It's caught by Aguilar. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 13-yard line. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone, Wentz. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Inside give to Elliott. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A second two yards to gain the first here. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field. But defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And a throw took it beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a Kyle Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call. So out comes the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So not successful there on the challenge. And he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. Second down and a run by Robinson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. Now to the air, Rock. Hitting Samuel on the slam. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Locke. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Holding offense. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Here's Locke to throw. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbound. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I 
think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Well, that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Throwing on first is Wentz. He gets this one to Johnson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The give is to Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. From the gun on third down, Wentz. And that will be incomplete. On fourth down, Michael Pilardi on to punt. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Oh, it's out. McKinnon fumbled it. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. And you're talking about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. Elliott now to have the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Ibnogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. Throwing again on second and ten. Lock. That's out wide here for Robinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Jones. Gets past one man. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Wentz. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. On second and ten. Wentz. He's got it complete to Aguilar. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. A great job pulling that one in 
coming from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? So and the ball is knocked out, and the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turbulence, people around you, two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand, but put it away, tuck it away, because you've got to take care of the ball. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And they will begin in field goal range already as they search for a potential score. Following the fumble recovery, it's Lock. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Throwing on first down is Locke. That's complete to Robinson. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Smith. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Shotgun snap to lock. Being chased, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. It's all down to this. Week 18 of the NFL regular season. Lots to be decided, so let's get right to it. They play the second quarter. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Cardinals. And despite the fact that they're looking up at a double-digit deficit at halftime, they were able to move the football through the air in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Niners, they too did throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They look to throw. It's Locke. Sets up the screen to Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Now remember, these two teams met in Glendale earlier in the season with the cards coming out on top. So a win here in Santa Clara would give them the season series. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Robinson now off the option. And he'll get about three here up 
to the 44-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, Robinson. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw is Wentz. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. They fake the give. Now wins. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Kyle Van Noy from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. On play action, Wentz. Well, that one into the hands of Beckham downfield. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. They got 29 yards that time. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. On the counter, Elliott. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Throwing on second and eight, Wentz. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 31-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Wentz now on first down. Caught left side, it's Beckham. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he's brought down. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? 
Now they'll throw it. Wentz. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Tyler Johnson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Rocco to keep it again. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a play fake, and here's Locke. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Robinson up the middle. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Well, they sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. And the pressure gets to him again. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Throwing now is Wentz. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. This is fielded at the 27. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And the Cards will take over first and 10. On play action, Locke. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. Working with second and five now. Hand off now to Robinson. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the gun, it's Locke. 
completes it to Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Lock now on first down. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. To throw again on second down. Lock winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The offense on third down, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and five. Going to look deep for Wilson. A rifles run, and that's going to be intercepted. Marcus Jones picks it. So the holding call on the offense, so they go ahead and decline that one and take possession of the football on the INT. A give to Elliott. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the seven. It's a gain of seven. Wentz going to try and throw on third. He finds his target, Beckham. And he is going to have the 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. On third down, it's Pollard. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try to make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Here's Michael Pilardi now. He's been terrific so far. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The football going back over to Arizona now. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Gets it up around the 22, but no further. Did flash the fancy footwork, but not much to show for. Second and nine. Second and nine. 
to throw in his lock. That's Samuel caught left side. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Block now to throw. Got his target, Samuel. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To throw once more on second and ten. Lock, screen play, McKinnon. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Lock looks to throw it again. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he needed to get to the midfield strike, but he can't do it. He's about a yard short. Now Locke, got to have this one. And a completion to Wilson. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Locke's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Locke now on first down. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty marker is on the field. So now a fresh set of downs. First and 10 after roughing the passer. Into the red zone. It's Locke. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Another try after the first down sack. Lock. That's out wide here for Robinson. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. From the gun on third down, Lock. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They'll go for it. It's Locke. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They start on the ground with Elliott. They're in control here as they start first and 10. And appearing to have righted the ship following that two-game losing streak. 51 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. So the victory here for San Francisco. On uh, one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, when I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'll be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter? but nothing in quarters two, three, and four. So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime. You do it series to series. They'll be working on that in preparation for their next game. So for San Francisco, they finish above 500 for the year. The final tally, nine and eight. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better than average season nonetheless.
Meanwhile, for Arizona, it'll be double digits in losses as they fall to 7 and 10 for their final mark. And I think you have to say, ultimately, this was a team that really underachieved.